ready or not. Ready or not follows a young bride, Grace, played by Samara Weaving, as she joins her new husband's rich, eccentric family who require her to follow a brutal tradition for the bride to try and survive her wedding night. Whilst the rest of the wedding guests hunt her down, Grace must prevail and overcome this deeply deranged and satire version of hide and seek. So, where do we start? Well, well, well. So, most horror films, to me, can come across as very one-dimensional, with one-dimensional characters who act out of complete stupidity and they don't have any sense of um, layering to them as a character. But ladies and gentlemen, Ready or Not was a pleasant surprise and a surprise we all very well needed. Um, I got to give props to Samara Weaving. She was, she, she, her acting was brilliant throughout. She, she never turned the stone wrong throughout the film. Um, she really knew her source material. Um, but I think where this film earned its praise from me was that this, the filmmakers knew the concept of what they were dealing with and this film has a very, very nice attention to detail with characters in the sense that the characters, what I kind of relate to as I call it, fire and ice. You know, every character is different from each other. And as much as they come across as villains and, and that they are what they're ultimately doing is wrong, you know, they're likeable at the same time. I feel like with every villain, even if they're meant to be a bad person, at the end of the day, they are still a human being and I feel like a human being should have some likeable traits, at least enough to engage with the audience. And in particular, when I talked about, when I talk about this thing about Fire and Ice, I mean, Emily as a character, she's not a prominent role within this story, but she's one of them co-stars, one of them co-characters in the film that suits so much with the notoriety of this film. And she is absolutely raucous, absolutely batshit. And if you've seen the film, you know exactly what I'm talking about. And even with her, she's a co-character, not even the main character, but they find these filmmakers find new and interesting ways to make it unconventional for a character and to floor her. I appreciate that. You know what I mean? Like, uh, applauds to the writers. You know, you guys knew exactly what you were doing with this film. You know, and it was, you know, I, I cannot praise you enough for what you've done. Um, another thing as well, I was not expecting this film to be as funny as it was. The, there is um, um, a cult classic line um, that comes from the character of Henry. And it's, I think it's in the second act going into the third act. And it's, it's that it is such a brilliant line. And, and a line that hopefully becomes a cult classic in the near future or the future because it is honestly when i feel as if when people when word more word goes out about this film and more horror fans have seen it i think there's going to be a certain level of of a very high appreciation for this film um so if I had to give, oh, let me let me give let me give some more pros. I'm not going to get into cons straight away because there's more pros to talk about. Um, there's also this this mythos, this folklore with the household, and and the tradition of ready or not with this box and this whole story about the box. And I thought that was another great layer to this film that I wasn't ex experiencing. This whole backstory to this. Um, it's kind of urban legend and, and stuff like that. And um, the, again, the, the writers earn their praise there. Um, now, 
if there had to be any cons that had to come with this film, there was a, a certain death scene with a character. Now, I won't get into spoilers, but there's a certain death scene that it kind of was just put in there to kind of thrill the audience. Not, and it didn't really stick with the symbolism of what the film was trying to kind of convey. Every other scene and every kind of exuberant scene that happened within the film was good, but when this one scene happens, I was like, you know, it's like the film would not suffer if that one particular scene to me, if it was cut and it comes, it comes, it's an interaction with another female character within the story. And I just, I just don't know. I just don't, did it feel as if it needed to be there. Now, another con I have is the ending can maybe leave some people them feeling a little bit conflicted, a little bit perplexed because it kind of, it, it, it has like this certain shock value. And then when it happens, I mean, for a split, when it happened, I was like, hold on a second, what, what, what's just happened? I was just as confused as the main character in the film. Like I was like, wait, what's actually happened here? Um, but I feel as if the writers covered up their tracks very nicely and they added in a bit of continuity and a little bit of context to, um, to a certain cult classic line that the father-in-law says. And had, that, had there not been the connection between those two scenes and then, and then that one moment happens, I think it would have left a lot of people upset in the way that it ended but the directors the writers the overall filmmakers they knew what they were doing they absolutely knew what they were doing um but on the whole let me give you another let me give another pro um i think the reason why i like this film is is that the characters even though it's a short runtime of 90 minutes long I appreciate, especially the writer's attention to detail, making them three dimensional, not just making them admire one thing and that's it. That always sends me up a wall when the one, one character is just a person and just a, just a person, you know. Um, I like the sense that with Grace's character, not oh, so, not only is she has she now kind of entered this deranged and bombastic fucked up game quite frankly she's she there's something there's a um she's trying to prove something as well you know to herself and this new family that she's now with so not only she is she gonna not only does she become flawed within the film but she already is flawed because she's trying to make a uh, an impression and it kind of comes across in like this third person narrative that she's never really had a family of her own. And that added another layer to, um, to her character. Now, I can't remember what, what brother she was with, whether it's Alex or, or Daniel, I can't remember, but her husband, he's a very flawed character in the sense that, you know, he is being to a certain degree flawed as well in the past and in the present. And I think that added another layer to the story and had these elements not have been in the story, it certainly would not have been as entertaining. Look, of course, like it's hilarious, the, the, the banter, the, the, the funniness of it is all brilliant, but they started off very quickly. Let's Let's hook in the audience, let's get their attention, and then let's get the ball rolling. And I really admire that from the writers, to take, those, to, to take the time with the main protagonist to, for us ultimately to feel empathy and want, want us to root for them. And for that, I have to applaud. So, ready or not, it's going to get a very solid eight out of 10. This film is a huge surprise. And as the days, the weeks, the months go by, the score may go up if I, if I watch it a second time or there might be a certain rewatch value. So guys, 
as it is Halloween, if you want to see a good Halloween film have you, and you have not seen Ready or Not, this is a rated R, obviously, so mature audiences only. So go and see this. You will have an absolute blast. I went and watched this film with my mum. We like horror and we enjoyed ourselves thoroughly. And, and I'm so interested to see where Samara we Weaving's um, career goes because I think she's a brilliant actor that, you know, that is, that was, that, you know, in the near future be on the same cusp to win awards and stuff that she gave a great performance in a horror film. So yeah, guys, I hope that you've enjoyed this review. Um, click here if you want to see more, like, comment, subscribe, share this video as well, it helps the channel out. Um, and I'll see you in the next one.